Welcome to the first lecture of Object-Oriented Design with Java. My name is Barbara Hecker and I will be your instructor for this series. And what we're going to look at is object orientation, um, what's that all about, and how to design an object-oriented program. And we're going to look at Java as the language. Uh, so you'll be learning Java programming as well as object-oriented design techniques. This first lecture, we're going to install Java. We're also going to install Eclipse, which will be the development environment that we're going to use. And uh, I will show you how to configure your system. Actually, I'll just walk through it for you. And you're also going to get a brief introduction to object orientation. So what you want to do now is um, get your system ready. So you want to grab your system. If it's not on the computer you're watching this video on, or if it is, minimize the video window and uh, get it so that you can uh, use the rest of your computer. Uh, so what you're going to need is a web browser and some patience and some time. And so at, at certain points in this video you're probably going to want to pause the video so that you can write down URLs and things um, or um, try the instructions yourself on your system. It's best to do the instructions and to follow them along um, while you're watching the video. Um, it makes a lot more sense and it's a little easier to follow if you do it simultaneously along with the video. So let's get started. Um, the first thing we're going to do here is uh, switch to a Windows system. And uh, I have Windows running on this computer. Actually this computer is uh, running both Windows and the Mac. Uh, Windows is running in a parallel desktop, but you don't need to know that. Uh, well, probably just makes the, make, makes the video make more sense to you, I guess. So what I've done is um, opened up a window that I have Microsoft Windows XP in. There should be uh, very similar instructions for um, Windows 7. If you have uh, Windows Vista, I don't recommend using it. Um, so you need to get either an XP system or a Windows 7 system. And um, hopefully you have access to that. Find and open up your web browser. Um, I'm going to use Mozilla. You can use anything you want. And uh, what we're going to do in our first step is download Java. So we're going to have to find it. I've actually kind of conveniently bookmarked um, the stuff we're going to be downloading today. So Java SE Downloads is my bookmark here. And let me zoom in on this URL so you can see it. And uh, what you're going to want to do is, uh, oh, there we go. It's at the top of the screen. You can see it. And Sun is uh, no longer the owner of Java. It's now owned by Oracle. Uh, so you have to actually go to an oracle.com website. But you'll see the website at the top of the screen. Pause the video, write it down, type it into your website, excuse me, your web browser, and uh, restart the video and uh, come back to this point. And uh, now we have to make sure we can select the right option. So half the, half the battle is over with. We found the right website. Now we have to select the right option. If we uh, down arrow through the screen, we see um, part of the menu here. It says Java SE Downloads. And uh, we've got one, actually we've got four different options in front of me here. One of them has NetBeans, the other one has Java EE, Java FX. This is, what the, this is probably the most difficult part of downloading Java is trying to figure out what you want to download. There are two main uh, Java downloads. One is called the JDK, the other one is called the JRE. Most likely you have the JRE already on your computer. Um, it's called the Java Runtime Environment. If you don't have it, um, that's very unlikely. Um, if you do have it, great. If you don't, don't worry about it. You're going to get it anyway. Uh, but the JR JRE is what everybody has. What you want to download and what you don't have already is the JDK Java Development Kit. Um, so what uh, the most current one as of this video, my download time right now, it's Java SE 6 Update 23. Don't worry if you went to this website and you saw Update 24 or Update 25. It depends on when you're looking at it. I don't. It doesn't matter what version of Java you download. 6 right now as of this video recording is the most current. Um, but you'll probably see something else if you go in a couple months from now. If you scroll down, you see some of the earlier ones. I don't actually recommend getting any of the earlier ones. I would just go with the latest and greatest. And what you want is the standard edition. You don't want the enterprise edition. You don't need any of the other bundles here either. This is the JDK bundles where you can get JDK with J J Java EE with 
JavaFX with NetBeans, and these are just add-ons that are all bundled together. Uh, so let's make our life easier. We're just going to click on this button here that says Download JDK. When we download the JDK, we we'll click on that little button here. Oh, here it is. We should get a little screen that comes up. This is Java SE Development Kit. Uh, 6U23 is what this says. Well, it's going to be different depending upon this is this is a uh, you know the versioning. Uh, your version might actually be different. Uh, but now what we're going to do is basically select a language and select a platform. I'm using a Windows system, not a 64. If you've got Windows 7, it's on a dual processor, you've got a 64-bit thing going on there, download the 64, otherwise it's not going to install. So that's actually one of the most critical steps, is downloading the correct version. If you're on Linux, if you're on Solaris, download that one. If you're on a Mac system, you should not be doing this. Um, you already have Java installed on your Mac. Um, it comes automatically. You don't need to do this if you have a Mac. Um, I'm doing. I'm only doing it on this Mac because I'm doing it in a Windows environment. Uh, so anyway, I'm selecting Windows because I don't have a 64-bit processor. If you have a 64-bit processor and you select this one, again, you're going to have a problem. So make sure to select the right version. I mean, you have to click on the little thing that says "I agree." Yeah, we've all clicked on here and we've read the license agreement. And um, if you haven't. Uh, I don't know. It's optional, but you know they don't make it. They don't force you to read it, but you are agreeing to their license agreement. So click on the continue button, and let's get this download started. And uh, now I see the uh, the link. It says available files is six seventy six megabytes in size, um, which is kind of substantial. I'm actually going to do a save as on this here, and uh, put it on my desktop. So uh, I'm gonna let me see, switch it here, put it on the desktop, and uh, just doesn't really matter where you put it. Um, you're gonna be help, you're gonna have to basically be able to find it. Uh, this is a pretty easy place. So and uh, now we're sitting here, and uh, because I have Firefox, I have a little status window that's opened up, and uh, the video essentially is gonna run through a download of about 76 megabytes. Um, I'm going to pause the video and, and then bring, bring us back when the download is complete. So go ahead and get your video, excuse me, get, get your download started. Download it. Once the download is complete, come back to the video and uh, we will continue at that point.